What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can catch any boss in the game using this little glitched method. It surprisingly hasn't been fixed in just over a week, but using it, you can capture yourself Zoe and Grisbold, not just normal Grisbolds like I have here. You can see this one's level 20. I caught it naturally. However, 1920 HP, the normal one over here, the boss one rather, has 42,000 HP or 30,000 HP, depending on the level, chance, etc. If we have a look at the normal one versus the boss one, it's mostly the same in pretty much all of the categories. It's just that the health is absolutely bonkers on the boss version. Now, how exactly do we catch this? Well, it's actually super simple. You need any pal sphere. It can literally be a level one. Then what we need to do is perform the glitch itself. So head across to a fast travel and locate your way towards somewhere with a guard. For example, the small settlement all the way over here in 80, negative 480. You can see coordinates in the bottom left. Simply click it. Yes. And when you get here, you'll want to anger one of the guards. So I'll do that. They'll start chasing me. Wanted. Now we can teleport all the way to a boss tower. In my case, I'll be going to the Zoe and Grisbold one. So I'll teleport here. And when I do so, you should see that the guard followed us. Usually it'll spawn inside of rocks or something else in this location. As long as it says wanted still, they should be somewhere nearby. This one's stuck in the rock. Now that we've done this, what we need to do is head into the boss tower itself. It can be any level. I'll show you Zoe and Grisbold for now. Then I'll head across to the other one. So we'll join it. And we'll start it, yes. And skipping the intro, you'll see that the guard has followed us as well. Now what we want to do is let the guard attack the boss. That's it. Or rather, just wait until the boss stops attacking us and sort of runs away into a corner. It can happen at any stage. It's a bit difficult to get right, but it should hopefully eventually happen. So the guard shooting at us. Let's see if we can get him to shoot the boss instead by standing in between the guard and the boss. And I think it's just happened. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so it ran away to a random corner. Then simply use any ball and you should be able to capture them. In this case, I think the guard's stuck in the wall and it's confused things here. So even using an ultra sphere, for example, doesn't work. We'll need to respawn and reset. This works most of the time, though not always. Let's try again. So we'll distract the guard. Bam. And now we'll head up to the teleporter. Teleport back to the boss tower. They should be somewhere nearby. Yep, there they are. We can grab everything once more, head back into the same boss and try it once more. It's really time limited in that you still need this guard to be angry at you. And now they seem to be in the correct location without doing any damage to anyone. Let's see if the guard can attack us, which should hopefully happen at some stage. Doesn't seem like it is. And there we go. The boss runs off into a corner. It just took a long while. Now all we need to do is try to capture them and poof, just like that. It works with any ball, any sphere, etc. We've now captured this this boss. In order to leave, you'll need to hit escape and respawn, which will cause you to lose everything, but at least we can head back to our loot and pick it up just outside of the boss fight. You can repeat this pretty much indefinitely until you get 10 levels of the boss, then head across to the other bosses, etc. It's a great way to level up later on if you've already captured all of the easy to capture mobs, etc. Though for some people, it may be a little bit too cheesy to do seriously. So teleporting, let's go up to the boss tower all the way up here, for example, the Free Pal Alliance Tower. And you should see once again, the guard is still chasing us. So there we go. Now we can run towards the tower, then enter this boss fight with the guard still nearby. There we go. Join and start. Now inside of here, we can do the same thing. Skip the intro and we can try and capture Lily and Laleen, assuming the guard followed us in here, which they should have. I don't see them anywhere. No, there they are. They fell out of the world, but this should still hopefully happen. Oh no, there we go. They're back. We just need to dodge them until eventually this one gets confused as well and goes off to the corner. We can capture them just like we would anything else. Poof, 100% chance. There we go, Lily and Lilleen. We can use this as many times as we want in as many places as we'd like. It's actually really broken. You can even do this with much higher levels as well. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.